The park's right in front of the sign. Oh my God. Only uh, parked there for yeah. well over a year. I've been living here for property. three years. They don't want anybody parking on their property anymore. Oh, oh, oh they could have like oh my God. God. Yeah, they've even, the they've even put up a sign and you guys parked right in front of the sign. Yes, ma'am. It clearly was on his property, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We are over here on Holly Ridge Road. You see the no parking sign right there. There's the car. Property owner has asked us to remove. So that's what we're doing. The park right in front of the sign. Oh my God. I'm assuming that one isn't supposed to be there either, but that is not on this property owner's property. So we will not be touching that one. Some marks there on the sides. Oh, congratulations guys. Married yesterday. It's a foot break and I can't tell if it's depressed or not. Everything auto. Hello sir, how are you today? Doing good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. My name is Adrian and I was wondering if uh, you picked uh, Kia Optima uh, 2014, I don't know, like an hour ago or maybe 30 minutes ago. Uh, yes, yes, it was It was parked on uh, yeah, the neighbor's the, property. Yeah, yeah that, that's my house there. I do live there and also I do not have a parking space to put it. Did someone say something like that? He's lived here for a while and he's parked uh, there for yeah. well over a year. I've been living here for property. three years. Oh, three years. Okay. Yeah, the, the property owner has, has said that, that, that we needed to remove the stuff. They, they don't want anybody parking on their property anymore. Oh, oh, they could have like oh my God. Oh, it's, the first time, it's the first time when it happened to me. Yeah, they've even, the they've even put up a sign and you guys parked right in front of the sign. Yeah, because I got no space right now. I have one more car. Where should I park it? My car, it doesn't fit in the garage because it's too low. You might have to pay one of the parking lots, pay to park down at the bottom someplace. Yeah, I'm going to figure out how much is uh, how much is to take it out. Uh, it's cash to the registered owner. Oh my God, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right now. Okay, um, it's uh, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. Do you know the address? Uh, it, 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 it says on the side. Let me see if it says here. Gatlinburg. Okay. Yes. Which one? Yeah, 221 Newman uh, Road. 221 Newman Road. Okay. Yeah, and I got it. It has um, to be cash. I don't uh, to the registered owner. Okay, I got it. Come on, guys. I mean, if if you don't have enough room on your property, it doesn't mean that you can park on somebody else's. I don't. I don't. Whew. Anyway, stick around. Stay tuned. Everything auto. Hi there. Uh, how are you? This is. Who might I be talking to? 
Hi, this is Jeff Patton. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Hope hey, you're doing well. Hey, I'm good, yes. Good. I need some help, and maybe you can help me and help me understand a couple of things. Okay. Uh, we own a house, and it's our property. We've owned it probably 30 years or better. We're right there at West Holly Ridge Road. And uh, we have a, a, a that watches over the property and, and takes care of it. Mm -hmm. And on the uh, side of our house, there is a little uh, graveled area that we filled in gravel where we have parked cars for years, years and years. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, that lot beside of us has been bought, which I don't know who has. I would like to find out who owns it now so I can talk to him. Mm -hmm. But he uh, parked in that little graveled area and... The car has been towed about an hour and a half ago, and apparently to you. Mm -hmm. I asked him if, if there was a sign that said uh, towing or private property or something. And there is no towing sign. There's no private property. You know, it's a piece of land that I, I believe is ours, but somebody else must think it's theirs. Mm -hmm. And but there is uh, they cut it. The tree has been cut, and a little sign, broken sign, kind of bent, has been nailed on the tree. And all it says is no parking. Mm -hmm. So he parked there as he's done many, 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 many times for years. And now his car is towed. So I guess question: Who had it towed? And then he needs to get his car, and he says that it's to pick it up if he doesn't come to get it today. I mean, help me know what to do, if you would. Um, well, he, he wasn't in that gravel lot that you're describing to me. He was, he was actually on the property's... Uh, it's their private property and they do have a sign that says, you know, private property or, or no parking. And, and he's, um, he's parked on it physically on their property right in front. He's not in that gravel area that you're talking about. There's another vehicle that's in that gravel area. Okay. All right. So help me. Okay. Let me get my mind on that. So when I look at my house on the left, there's a, some trash cans and then there's a little gravel square that we put gravel in. It used to be a ditch mm -hmm. and it's literally right beside ours mm -hmm. that he wasn't there. No, there's another car that is there. He was he was right in front of the property. He's right in front of the sign. If you're that the sign that you're describing to me that says no parking. Yeah. He was right in front of that sign, which is that property's owner. Uh, that, that the property owner has called us. Um, they said it's been a, a huge. A hassle for them, and um, they, anytime something's parked there, they call us. Uh, there was actually a, a, a bus that was parked there um, a couple of weekends ago, and they, they monitor that. They've purchased that part that property, and they do they do not want anybody on it. Okay, uh, well, I guess I would like. I wonder if I could get the name of the owner. I, if it's his, then okay. But for some reason, we think it's ours. And on top of that, we, we fixed that ditch so that people could park in it. And it's right next to those steps as you're going up, not on the pavement. There's a set of steps, graveled steps, a trash can, and a little square place that we filled in. Yes, ma'am. We think it's ours, but maybe they think it's theirs. If it is theirs, maybe they'll sell it to us if it's mine maybe i'll sell it to him yeah it's uh, no they've got they've had a survey and they've got property markers there but they were not in okay. the gravel these people they, they were parked on the pavement in front of his property okay um all right but you wouldn't care to give me his name so i can call and find out about that maybe maybe we can work something out or maybe i'll i'll have to tell my people not to park there anymore because we've been doing it for probably 25 years uh, and he is a new owner. I do know that. So I guess I guess he's had it surveyed, and he thinks it's his. Uh, yes, ma'am. Or maybe you could give if you don't comfortable giving me his name. Maybe you could give him our name as the owners, and maybe he would call us, and we'll try to work it out. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can I can refer your information to him. I that'd okay. be the best I could All do. Right. Uh, it's uh, it, my name is my husband is. Would you want him to call you? Would that be good or no, me? I, I will. <laughs> All right. Let me give you phone numbers and then he has a question. Okay. But my number is and is might okay. be better to call because he's better with the survey. Okay. Uh, and if and we just need to work it out so that we don't be a bother to him and vice versa. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So now he has a question. What is it? Uh, Jeff, appreciate talking to you, and we will um, be contacting the the owners, the new owners, if they'll contact us. But my question really is, how how can they enforce towing somebody's car when they don't say towing is enforced? Yeah, how does that work? Legally, how how could that happen? Well, it's it's private property, and they have the right to have anyone removed from their property. It, it would be the same for you guys. If you guys had somebody pulled on your on your property, you could call any towing service to have them removed. I see. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess somebody's parked at my home. I could have it towed. Yes, ma'am. That make sense. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, all right. If you don't care to have a call, we'll try to work out some plan. I think it's, and let me tell you where I think it is. I think my house is there. There's a set of graveled steps going up to the house beside a paved driveway. And then there's a uh, set of trash cans, a tree, and a little graveled square. And I think that's where he's talking about. Correct. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's he, he, he's he's got another vehicle parked in that spot that you're describing to me. But this vehicle okay. was removed from the pavement directly in front of his property. So this one is over there, more like where that little round driveway is. I mean, that little in and out driveway that, where there used to be a house. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it, yes, ma'am. It literally was on his property, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. Yes, that is correct. Okay, that that makes a lot more sense. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So anyway, I, he is coming to get it uh, now. Question to you is, uh, I mean, that's a lot of money for this couple. They just got married yesterday. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess that's their wedding gift. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there any way to help them out on that price if they came over there or not? No, ma'am. Those are just our fees associated with the with the unattended. If I well, we don't have keys, and there's no there's no one there, and uh, okay. it just makes it really difficult to remove the vehicles. Okay. All right, uh, Jeff. Thank you, and please ask that fellow to call. Particularly, I appreciate your help on that. If you can't get, just call me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh -huh, thank, thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. Bye bye. So. So more of the story comes out. It's always it's always way more than than you know. This guy says he tells us it's his house, it's his property. He's been living there for three years, and he's been parking there for three years, and have never had any issues. And then all of a sudden, he is now the friend friend of, and then just staying there, looking over the place for this lady that calls me. So now. Now I'm supposed to be talking to the correct owner of the house, which is just letting these people stay there and look over the house. So it's it's never it's never what it seems. And he said he was parked on their property. Yeah, and, and she kept describing that parking <laughs> spot where that other there was a white car parked. Yeah, there. so if you guys watch the video, you'll see where the white car was parked, where they kind of fancied up another additional little pull in. Uh, for an additional car. So he's fibbing, he's fibbing to her, telling her, well, my car got towed and I was parked there on your property. Mm -hmm. I was parked in the little gravel area, which he's lying to the owner of the house because you guys will watch the video. He was not, th this, this property is freshly surveyed and he is parked on their property. So I don't know if it showed up in the video or not, but there are pink property stakes like the, the wooden stakes with the pink flags are there marking the corners of that property. So it is 
obvious that he is right in front it's like pretty much dead center of that property. Oh yeah, it's it is the parking for that. That was a burnt house, um, and they're going to rebuild and all of this stuff. So, I mean, you can clearly see this is the pull-in. This is the driveway for the house that had burnt, mm -hmm. and um, and know, they've got a no parking sign there. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's it's what more do you need? I don't know. I don't have to describe everything in the world to you. All, um, the only thing you need to know is short and simple: no parking. It doesn't have to say who you are and what you're doing and what might happen if you do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just short and sweet. Don't park there. And he knew, he knew and it, it's more of the same. You know, if you've been doing it for three years, you think, you think, well, it's okay. Well, this property has changed hands and you know, it's not okay. So it, it doesn't matter if you've parked there for 30 minutes or three years. It's uh, it's all, it's all the same. And it's the private property. It's the owner's, discretion on on what happens you know you just can't go parking on you can't just come on somebody's property and, and do whatever you want it's not your property so uh anyway uh you know i understand they're upset and you know though i'm glad they called to clarify because they were convinced that he was parked in their gravel spot on their property and they were upset that we had towed someone from their property yeah so it's which it's, that was not what had happened yeah so it's nice it is it's nice for them to get another side instead of just you know one-sided story and you know there's there's always two sides there's always two sides to the story and and at least they called us to clarify and and we've mm -hmm. this is why we video guys mm -hmm. this is why we video and take pictures because you know at the end of the day he could have pressed it really pressed it and said you know this they towed my car and it was it was where he told her that mm -hmm. it was parked so you know it's it's great that we have this is we have to have it in this day and age it's unfortunate, but that's this is just where we're at, and we have to have pictures, we have to have video, because they just you don't get don't always get the truth. So anyway, um, I assume that they're on their way, and maybe we'll get more to this story. I have another thing to add to this horrible, crazy disaster. Um, if you notice in our phone call with the correct owner the lady she had said well i guess this is going to be their wedding gift. wedding gift she'd said that they just got married they didn't have that kind of money and try to negotiate the price but yeah she'd said i guess this is going to be their wedding gift so keep that in mind guys he has now called her and lied to her about where he had parked so that he can extort money from her to fix his mess up that would be the way i could Describe that, I guess. So just keep that in mind when he comes. You guys have no idea. I came to, I came to pick that car. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you can go on the other side of the fence there, then I can get your. You got keys? I'll yeah. bring it out there to you. It's just there. more signs. I don't know. So this one is the thing that I've been parking there for, for a long time. And okay. I don't know, right now they just decided to call. Uh, that's just crazy. There's no... So you're... You, I thought you lived there. You say you live I there? I live there, but I parked just a little bit on the other side. And that's okay. not my... Yeah. yeah. They've said they've only ever had one car parked there. Live with people living there. Yeah. Before. They've never had to deal with two cars parking. Yeah. And we have to watch where we park because we got a letter from a mail lady saying we can't park with them. Right. So many feet of the mailbox, but his car can't pull on the driveway. It, and so parking is crazy limited, and that's, I don't know. Yeah, the, uh, they've had a, a quite a bit. There was a bus there that they called us on not too long ago that parked where you were parked. Um, but that is their that is their property, and they had it surveyed. And um, now, the sticks that they got going down the land, that's usually property line sticks, right? The, the, the orange, the orange the markers, that marks the boundaries of theirs. So you were, okay. you were just in front of their, yeah. in front of their. Yeah, the, the orange, I think there's an orange stake right there on the other side of that trash can. Yeah. And then your, I think there's another little driveway on the side, but I think that's okay. That's, of course your driveway and then that little one, but anything beyond that stake yeah. is, is there and they'll call and they'll call for that. But let me get your receipt and I'll get the car out there for you.
that's too much. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, somebody had called. I yeah, guess it was the property yeah, owner. The owner. Okay. I, I was calling her, like, <laughs> she, I don't know, to see if I can do something. Yeah. Because I've been parking there, I've been living there for three years. So. Yeah. Yeah, though, just the first time. Really? Yeah, just know that they're yeah they're watching their property now. They're they're gonna rebuild and do something right there. They just purchased well, there that. There's so. nobody there today. Who called? They call. They call. They call. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they they've got folks that are in and out. Sometimes they'll park some of their people there when they go downtown, yeah. but they plan on building there. So it. they just randomly check that. So just be careful over there. Yeah. I thank you. Okay, guys, we've got a new fancy gate system over here and I'm late on turning the camera on because I'm coming back down here to to get uh, to get to them. Of course, they just come right in. We've got signs all along the front of ours and they pay about as much attention to those signs that are on my fence as they do uh, to the signs where they're parking at. So he comes right in and uh, so I apologize for the weird camera there. I just got it turned on as he was all the way on our property. Like, like I said, it, we've got signs out there that say, do not come past this point. You know, you'll probably see them. But anyway, uh, you know, the, the, the property owner, she did call and I, what was it that she said? Uh, well, there's a, there's a broken old bent old sign over there <laughs> that, that says that you, that says no parking, but you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The sign's all used up. It's a used sign. It's no good. I, I guess people think that, you know, it, it depends on, you know, what it looks like. Just because it's it's a bent sign, it's not a good sign, it's not a valid sign anymore, which it's not. Like, so you, you guys will see it in, in the video. It's it's a clear posted sign. You know, it's their property and they don't want anybody on it. But, you know, he's I didn't get much from him. He uh, just, ah, you know, been parking there for three years, he says. So he thought that he was, uh, he was okay. But anyway, that's that. They got their car and... We're on to the next one. Yours? There's no parking pass, ma'am. It's it has to be it has to be stuck to the car. It has to be attached to the window. You have to stick it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to on the outside. It has to be attached. Where where was it? I. I, if no, I it was it was hiding in the dash. If I don't see it, then I don't know. I, I, I it has to be. I, it I, has to be stuck to the car. You have to adhere it to the car. It, it has to be stuck. Like you, it, they want it on this side too, don't they? They have to put it on it has, the glass. But there's a. They have to be on the outside. It has to be on the outside. Oh yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a sticker and it has to be stuck to the outside of the glass. I, if, if you want me to leave it, it's 150 for the drop fee. I'm already here. No, it has to be cash. Okay, okay. Is she going? She said she's gonna go see something. I don't know. Yeah, you just can't run and grab your... If it was stuck to the glass, then it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Yeah, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have it hooked up at all if it was stuck to the glass. I got my translator here. I said the sticker was...
I wish we'd have seen the sticker. I'm sorry. Yeah. If it had been stuck to it, we wouldn't have. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Goodness gracious. Well, she's came in a hurry. Yeah. Whoever she is, she's is that the daughter. The, or... Is that the same girl with the red car that's here all the time? No. Uh -uh. No. Okay. Yeah, that's a different. Set. That's a different girl. But. You know, it, it, it's the same. It's the same story, guys. Is like, uh, you know, when, when you guys you know, <laughs> we get some hateful people that that say, "Well, uh, you guys uh, would only do this you, to to people that are that are down on their luck." Or uh, we have no idea. We have no idea what you look like. We have no idea if you're supposed to be there. If you're not supposed to be there. And the only way that we can determine that is if that sticker. Is stuck to the glass. So when we get there, in the you know she comes running out, immediately unlocks the car, jumps in it, and pulls the sticker out of the console or the glove box or wherever it was at. This is this is one of those situations where they're sharing the parking stickers, guys. There, there, there's so many people that share the apartments that they share the parking sticker as well. Um, well, at, at night when everybody decides to come home, then there's not enough parking. And uh, we've been asked to, to help out to regulate the, the people that are not supposed to be there. So when we come and there's not a sticker on a car, immediately we'll, we're going to hook it up. You know, whether you come running out and have one in the glove box or not, that's I have no idea. I don't know anything about where your sticker's at. But if it's on the glass, then it never would have happened. So, yeah. I was just going to say how we made. I don't know. I think I walked around that car five times, and then you walked around it two or three times after. And I looked on the seats and everything, and I didn't see it in there either. Because we don't want to make the mistake either, you know. If we're we're going to give the benefit of the doubt, you know. We we were told by the apartment uh, authority that 
she issued stickers and those stickers have numbers in accordance with the I'm guessing either the lease it has to be the lease because I don't think they have vehicle info right um, and that sticker is supposed to be adhered to the glass and uh, you know we still we still do we go above what we're supposed to do and uh, we've we've come to looking now on on the dash and, and even in plain sight you know if it's if it's in the console where I can see it if it's in a cup holder where I can see it, which I shouldn't I shouldn't go that far with it uh, but Kristen will walk around a couple of three times and then I always because that's the last thing we want to do is, is to, to get one hooked up that is this supposed to be there but at the end of the day regardless this could all be solved by putting the sticker where the apartment authority tells you to put it so it's it's of nobody's fault but their own that we're there and we've got their vehicle hooked up it's no different than the illegal parkers all you have to do is is pay to park or park where you're supposed to and not in a spot that you're not and uh, it's, it's an easily fixed thing it's, it doesn't have anything to do with with uh, Gatlinburg's awful or the people in Gatlinburg are are awful um, it's it's your own fault it's your own fault for parking where you're not supposed to or if you live here like those people do you just have to you have to do the right thing you have to abide by the, the rules of the apartment and um, and on the other brighter side of that we we get people that live in these apartments that, that will come out and say thank you um, you know when I come home from work at, at 8 o'clock or 11 o'clock or midnight when I come home I've got a place to park because if they come home and, and that, that parking lot's full then they've got to come and park like on the street where they could potentially get towed and um, that's just not cool it's not cool so we're we're there to help even though some people might not see it that way and uh, as the season moves into busy season this will probably get crazier so if you'd like to see this kind of content stick around stay tuned